So my advice is when you're talking about Bowen is to try and have a conversation with somebody, is to discuss what your experience is and try and find out what theirs is as well. So speak from the perspective of what your experience is rather than what you think you know. As I mentioned before, don't make wild statements that you can't back up. So you might talk about somebody that you've treated and uh, you might talk about how uh, their response was and what, how you came into uh, doing it and what your feeling was and what you've seen and what you've experienced. Um, the moment you try and sell something from the perspective of that Bowen cures everything or Bowen can do this or Bowen can do that, A, you're on dodgy ground, B, it's not true, and, uh, and C, nobody's going to believe you. So have a two-way conversation, ask questions. Well, I always say, um, let's give three treatments, three or four treatments. If at the end of three or four treatments you've had no response, uh, then I would say that probably um, it's time to move on to something else. That may sound unacceptable, but at the end of the day, it's three or four treatments. What's, what's anybody got to lose? And the answer is very, very little. So the answer to how does Bowen work is truthfully, we have absolutely no idea. It doesn't put you from in a, in, a, in a space of disadvantage. It just means that actually what we've got is lots of theories. Nothing wrong with that. Actually, there's loads of theories. Really, we don't know how for example, how life comes to be in terms of an egg is fertilized and why doesn't the immune system actually then get rid of that egg? And we, we really have no idea why that happens. We have theories. Similarly, there are dozens of things within medical science that fall into the too hard basket and end up under um, autoimmune systems. So again, we don't really know how a lot of these things work. What do I say? My idea is that somehow we have a discussion between our central nervous system and our autonomic nervous system um, and a touch response asks those two systems to have a conversation with each other and you, know, you might have had a, a scratch on an arm that you had no idea how that scratch got there you might even be bleeding you might have a bruise on your leg how did I get that bruise if I was to give you that bruise now and say I'm gonna punch you in the leg you would know very very clearly what was gonna happen you'd be frightened you'd be scared and it would hurt but subconsciously you're busy, you're out shopping, you're in the garden, something's happened, you have no idea um, how that happened. So not always, your central nervous system is not always attuned to what else is going on. It could be other things that are happening. When we have a Bowen, what we ask the body to do is to take on board what is happening. So when we touch somebody in a, in a controlled, concentrated environment, we're saying, okay, feel this, what's happening, what's going on? we can set up a, a sort of internal dialogue between uh, sympathetic, um, parasympathetic and central nervous system um, and have that dialogue that goes on. So for example, if I ask you now to isolate a specific muscle in your body and feel that, chances are, you know, up in your shoulders, up in your neck, you couldn't, probably couldn't do that. But by me touching it or moving it gently, you can isolate that, feel what's going on and then decide as to whether there's anything that you need to do in relation to your nervous response. I don't have to punch it or, or poke it or, or even go in very hard with it. All I have to do is move gently, take my hands away, go away and leave it, and something else is happening. What's happening? We have absolutely no idea. It's one of my arguments that actually we need, we need more uh, research, we need more understanding of what of the body's doing, just simply to test out the effects of Bowen on the uh, central nervous system, on the sympathetic nervous system, we can only uh, guess at the moment. So, you know, hopefully in time, we'll understand.